in every man's life, either in high school or in your early 20s, everyone's going to have a very extremely embarrassing moment, an embarrassing moment to a point where in a few years, you're going to look back and realize how pathetic you were. Am I talking about you shitting yourself in public? No, I'm talking about something more embarrassing. Begging your ex to come back with you after she left you. Even though it's the top three most embarrassing moments of your life, it is also, I believe, a golden experience. Everyone, most of them, even you watching right now, you might have gone through it and you come out of it as a different person and you got that golden experience. If you're a virgin, you never touched a girl or if you looked at one and you came in your pants, you don't know how to talk to girls and you have no experience at all, Take your notebook out and start taking notes because I'm about to drop some knowledge. Before we talk further about this, I was tagged in this video to talk about the situation where the boyfriend in the in his mid-20s or late 20s, I believe, he just found out that his girlfriend got her back broken by another guy. Oh, who did you fuck? Stop. Who did you fuck? My guy. Oh, let me find out it was fucking Jerry. Stop, stop. Did you fuck Jerry? Did you fuck Jerry? Fucking tell me, bitch. Did you fuck Jerry? Jerry's either watching this video going like, yup, I fucked your girlfriend. Or he's probably like, oh, damn, bro. I feel bad now, but I had a good time, which I highly doubt. Bro, bro probably wanted to fuck her for like the past six months that he fucking worked his way through this girl the girlfriend. Fuck! Oh my god! I fucking knew that you were such a fucking one! Such a fucking one! Now let's point out the elephant in the room. The boyfriend is crying, probably having the worst time of his life. And the girlfriend decides to, so you know what? Let me take a clip out of this. Let me record him. And I believe it is a good thing that she recorded him. Wait! Let me land, let me land, because this guy is going to look back on how pathetic he looks after crying in front of his girlfriend, which I have no doubt that he said, okay, well, I'm kind of mad now, but like in three, four days, I'll forgive you. I have no doubt because this girl is his everything. He cannot breathe without her. Now, like I said, every man goes through this embarrassing moment in their life, and it's it's not their choice. It's human nature. My embarrassing moment was when i was 19 i was dating this 27 year old montenegro girl the, she, by far till this day it's been what six years seven years now she's still the hottest girl i've ever dated and she is my most embarrassing moment that i had with to this day i have no idea how i landed her apparently back in the, like when i was 19 i had a lot of game i had a sport motorcycle i had a good body i had a little bit of tattoos i don't know what the fuck happened now now when I try to talk to girls, it's a whole different game. I don't know if, if the society changed or girls have higher standards now. Anyways, four months in with the, this girl, we were together. We went on a couple of trips together. It was fun. It was very fun. I was making her laugh. We were having a good time until the time where I made a joke. A joke that ruined everything. Well, as a 25-year-old man that I think about it now, even if I didn't make that joke, we wouldn't have lasted together because the age gap was way different and I was still figure out, figuring out what to do with my life. Anyways, the joke was we were texting. It was 1 a.m. and she said, oh my God, someone knocked at my door. She was like, oh my God, is that you? Are you here to surprise me? Haha, <laughs> you failed. I was like, calm down. Wait for it. I was like, calm down. I don't like you that much. Now, if you've been around this channel, you know me. I I love like to roast people. It doesn't matter, well, especially if I'm like dating someone. My love language, my flirting is roasting them. And it, it has ended multiple relationships for me, but that's just who I am. I'm not, I'm not gonna change whoever I am. She got she gave me a laughing emoji, but then she ghosted me. Next day we started talking, she was so cold with me. Things uh, didn't end well. Things went cold. After, after a week, it was my birthday and she left me on my birthday. Yes, she left me on my 20th birthday. I was walking back to my house, fucking crying my ass off. But this isn't the embarrassing moment. The embarrassing moment was the next day after my birthday where I went to her place to pick up some of my stuff. 
that is the time where I, I'm going to tell you now, I was lost in the sauce. Like I said, she was the hottest girl I've ever been with by far. Body from fucking heaven. Face, I got a boner first time that I looked at her. Everything was perfect about her and I didn't want to lose her. This is the point where every man they go through this is you can't imagine your life without them. They are your everything. You don't know what you will do. You can't like you don't think you're gonna land another one like this ever again what i did was i went up to her place i picked up my stuff and five minutes later i stopped and i got to fucking crying i was like but i love you uh, let's not let we can work things out i didn't mean the joke that i said i will change for you <laughs> i was like you are the mu'asil to my shisha. You are the sugar to my tea. You are the butter on my rice. <laughs> you are the panadol to my sickness. I've done. I was fucking crying. I was all over the place. And all she did was fucking shake her head and ask me to leave. She was overwhelmed by my patheticness. And if she's watching this video someday, I just want to say... Nina, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. What embarrassment and, and patheticness I, I made you go through. <laughs> I've did everything to embarrass myself in front of her. I've said shit that that now that I look back at it, I would have made a YouTube video about myself if this was like now. And after this golden experience, 90% of men they either start going to the gym, they start. Uh, working, they start opening, thinking of business, thinking of ways to make money. If you went through it, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, embrace yourself for the embarrassing moment that you're going to accomplish. And I think it's a very important experience for you to get your shit together. Unfortunately, no matter how many times you take notes and you listen to the tips I'm giving you to never go through this embarrassing experience it is part of life you are naturally going to meet someone you're going to get lost in the sauce and they are going to be your everything and you're going to put them before anything else and there's nothing wrong with that it is a part of life like i said and you need to experience it to learn it and after that first experience i had i went on with my life gym did whatever i could then after a while you're gonna meet someone as well i met someone too Two and a half years later, which um, we dated for three years. <laughs> the fuck was that? I swear to God, that was a mini cockroach, flying cockroach just going around the mic. Anyways, I met this girl and we dated for three years. Everything was fresh again. Everything was new. We had such a good time. But unfortunately, it all came to an end. Wait for it. After she cheated on me last year and last year was the time that we break broke it off now did i go back and be like no okay i'll forgive you but who was it who did you fuck what happened oh uh, please please take me back please did i go head over heels fight for the relationship did i go like oh my god you're the love of my life i will never let this end i will fight for it no matter what it's fine if you fuck someone else but i can't imagine my life without you did i do this pathetic things no because i already had my golden experience the second someone cheats on you they are dead to you if they apologize they beg for you to come back remember they are going to cheat again they did it once they're going to do it again there's always someone else for you out there what i did was we got on a call i said take care of yourself she said take care of yourself we went our separate ways this was last year because over the years i've come to realize that the only people you need to take care about take care of is your family and the things you need to do is you always need to work on yourself, put yourself, love yourself first before you love anyone else. You need to work on your mission in life. You need to stay healthy. You also need to enjoy life, but never fight for someone who did you dirty. Don't get me wrong. It is still possible for you to find someone and be in a very deep relationship since you're like in high school and you're gonna date but this is extremely rare this is not even one percent of the world where your high school sweethearts then you become like 20 something you get married you live like until you're like 40 50 60 you re you live the rest of your life with your high school sweetheart but like i said this is very extremely not even one percent of the majority in the world that go through this why do i always say to most of you who have been around this channel to always focus your 20s on working, on building a business, building a future is because when you get in your 30s, 
you you'll be settled you'll be having your own company you'll be making a decent amount of money to start a family and take care of a family and it's very important for you to have something going on with you either work either you're working towards something to keep your mind off of getting lost in the sauce i saw a picture that i will never forget for the rest of my life is this is you this is your ultimate dream whatever it is is it a fucking lambo it is it is like a hot girl it is a big mansion whatever it is and there's a hole here where you need to jump over it what is in the hole is getting lost in the sauce in your 20s men 90 percent of men fail to achieve their dreams until they're like very old is because they get lost in the sauce now i, I don't say like don't enjoy your 20s definitely enjoy them as well but make sure you focus 75 percent on working and 25 percent on only uh you know messing around dating someone but always put you and your business first but when you get in your late 20s and or in your 30s and you act like this guy it's just fucking pathetic let's be honest it's pathetic no matter how long you've been with this person the second they cheat on you like i said you need they, they are dead to you you need to move on with your life or you're going to be stuck in that position for the rest of your fucking life i found this other video as well of this guy catching the girlfriend cheating in their place that he pays for and the uh, the guy that she's cheating with is right behind her and she's like covering the camera and be like no don't film him <laughs> <coughs> sorry i almost died but I'm, I'm back now and she's like no we weren't doing anything we we're playing legos we were playing monopoly how dare you accuse me of these, these things i was always loyal to you this was probably her reaction yeah we had an intruder we have an intruder yeah yeah. Yeah. Yep. We have an intruder in the Hi. house. I've been here for six months. And you in my house? You in my house? Get the f out! You in my house? Please send somebody You in my house? Please, yeah. please, please, yeah, I didn't please. See you I'm this here. Guy, and yeah. he broke into my house. Yeah, no, he did not. Please, please. No, he please. Did. I live here. I live here. Hurry, hurry, yeah, please, yeah. hurry. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I live here. He in my house. We have an intruder. His name is Elijah. His name is Elijah. Yes, nobody gonna talk about it. Bro is sitting at the back going like, damn, I just ruined a relationship and the sex wasn't even that good. He definitely only thought with his head and not his head. And he looks like he's going through some stuff himself. I feel like he regret the fact that he cheat, you know, he he just fucking ruined the relationship right there. And what's up with people recording this? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful that, you know, there's this videos on the internet that, you know, I can make content. But it kind of looks like it's kind of staged as well. But we're going to treat it like it's not staged. Please send somebody. Get my phone. He's I'm destroying gone. my house. Get my phone, bro. It's in your hand. Exactly. Get the f*** out of here. Get out of here. Get the f*** out of here. Get 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 out of here. And imagine having the audacity that she lives in your place and she's saying, please leave. Get out of your own house so I can, you know, finish my business with him. Any man, keyword man, with self-control, would in this situation will be like, you two, get yourself, both of you, get out. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to look at you. Just both of you, get your stuff, get out. Cheating in 2024, 20% 20 male, 30% female. The next generation is officially cooked. And I don't even want to bring the divorce rates at this point in 2024. It's a really messed up uh, like time that we're living in. But don't lose hope. You can always marry your cousin or find someone you know, better. It, it, your cousin is the last point, last stage where you don't find anything else. And you're, and you're like 35 or something. Sure, sure. If you don't want to be alone, marry your cousin. If you're doing fine, you're happy, single, do you? But yeah, I just saw this video. I just wanted to share my personal experience. And I wanted to tell you that never be this pathetic, but it is normal if you're going to go through it. But once you come out of it, you made, you made a mistake of embarrassing yourself once. Do not make it again. If you are in your, like I said, late 20s, mid 30s, you act this way, you, you act this pathetic, it is unacceptable. Just, just look at yourself. Look at you. I'm, I'm looking at you right now. You are one sexy bitch. Any girl would be happy to be with you. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to share this um, experience with you. And hopefully you'll not be this pathetic. But yeah, what the fuck? That cockroach is back. It's here. But yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.